Arizona Facts and State History Whether you are a resident of Arizona or simply planning a trip to the area, it's important to know a little about the state's history. Let's explore a few interesting facts about Arizona's history. Creating a living repository for the state's founding moments. During American Archives Month Arizona's State Archives highlights a few of its most notable items with a splashy soiree at the Polly Rosenbaum State Archives and History Building in Phoenix. The State Archives has been collecting and preserving public records since 1885. The most interesting of these is the state's trove of manuscripts spanning nearly two centuries. As a result, the Arizona State Archives has the world's largest collection of archival materials. This is a good place to learn about their impressive collection and make the acquaintance of their expert archivists. You can even ask them a question in the name of history. As you peruse the state's rich trove of archival treasures, you might even get a glimpse of the state's lesser known but no less fascinating history. Aside from the state's historical treasures, the state has a sizable Hispanic population, and a number of notable Native American tribes. Among them is the largest of the tribes, the Navajos, which boasts over 300,000 citizens. In addition, the state has two legislative houses, two executive branches, and three state police agencies. The state also has a number of notable institutions of higher learning, most notably the University of Arizona and Arizona State University. The Mojave Desert is the driest desert in the Northern Hemisphere. Located in southeastern California and southwestern Nevada, the Mojave Desert is the driest desert in the Northern Hemisphere. It is located 35 degrees north of the equator. The Mojave Desert is also part of the North American Desert, which includes the Sonoran Desert to the east, and the Great Basin Desert to the north. The Mojave Desert occupies a large portion of southeastern California and smaller portions of southern Nevada. The Mojave Desert is classified as a rain shadow desert. It sits in a rain shadow from the Sierra Nevada mountains. It is also located in a transition zone between the Sonoran Desert and the Great Basin Desert. The Mojave Desert is defined by its elevation and indicator plants. In addition to the hottest air in the United States, the Mojave Desert is also the driest of the four major deserts in North America. Aside from Death Valley, the Mojave Desert has the lowest absolute elevation. The Mojave Desert extends from the Sierra Nevada mountain range to the Colorado Plateau, where it merges with the Great Basin Desert. The Mojave Desert contains many unusual plants and animals. Some of the more notable plants are the yucca, a narrow-leafed yucca, the Joshua tree. Other plants include creosote bush, Ursage, Shadscale, and Big Sagebrush. Please subscribe to our channel, thank you. The Mojave Desert is also home to a variety of other wildlife. Animals include the black-tailed jackrabbit, bighorn sheep, chuckwallas, coyotes, foxes, and desert tortoise. The Mojave Desert is also home to many species of cactus, including the desert Spanish bayonet, some animals are unique to the Mojave Desert, including the Mojave Rattlesnake and the Desert Tortoise. Cattle, cotton, and citrus are important industries in the state. During its early development, Arizona's economy revolved around the traditional five C's, crop growing, lumbering, mining, tourism, and cattle raising. These industries still play a major role in Arizona's economy, providing jobs and food for all Americans. Cotton is Arizona's largest crop. It has been shipped to Asia, Europe, and other areas. It is Arizona's most water-intensive crop. In the early days, people picked cotton by hand. Picking was labor-intensive, and there was little reward for the effort. But Arizona's climate made the harvest reliable. Arizona's climate has always attracted visitors for the therapeutic benefits of its climate. Visitors also come for its beauty. It has become a popular vacation spot for millions of people. In the late 19th century, railroads began providing limited service to the interior. Roads were built along Native American trade routes. Stagecoaches and freight carriers also traveled on these routes. Copper mining was also a major resource. Large stands of ponderosa pine provided the state's lumber industry. Arizona's economy shifted from an agriculture-based economy to a manufacturing-based economy in the late 1940s. The state's tourism industry has also thrived. Millions of visitors come to Arizona each year to enjoy its natural beauty. In addition to tourism, Arizona produces items for the transportation industry, as well as electronics and processed foods. Please subscribe. The Republican Party has a strong presence in the state. Despite the fact that Arizona is one of the six battleground states in the country, the Republican Party has a strong presence in the state. 
the Arizona GOP has been particularly shady when it comes to election fraud. The party has proposed widespread fraud in the 2020 election. Arizona GOP Chairman Kelly Ward is in a heated feud with the establishment wing of the party. She has criticized Maricopa County Recorder Stephen Richer for not certifying the election, saying the chain of custody for the vote counting machines is broken. The Arizona GOP's response to the issue is to encourage voters to use mail-in ballots. In 2010, former Yuma County GOP Chairman Phil Townsend was in a similar position. The Arizona GOP's campaign is slated to spend at least $4 million on ads targeting Democratic gubernatorial nominee Katie Hobbs. The Hobbs campaign is also engaging in a Cures campaign. Its first TV ad was launched and is critical of immigration policy and border security. Democrats are also likely to win Secretary of State races in Wisconsin and Minnesota. They also held on to both chambers of the Maryland General Assembly. The Arizona GOP is also worried that their rhetoric on mail-in voting could hurt the party's chances of winning. However, federal law prohibits disenfranchising voters for minor errors. Regardless of the legal challenges, lawsuits could have a major impact on voting. The setting sun has 13 rays. Probably the most interesting part of the Arizona state flag is the central copper star, which is the real point of interest. The copper star signifies the importance of minerals in the Arizona economy. Arizona has the most copper-producing counties in the country. During its heyday, Arizona was the country's largest copper producer. The Copper Star is the best way to honor this history and celebrate Arizona's role in copper history. The Arizona state flag has two halves. The bottom half is a solid blue field. The top half contains a red and yellow stripe. The top half is the more upscale of the two. The most notable feature is the Copper Star, which is the brainchild of the Arizona governor's office. The Copper Star is a nod to the state's history and copper mining industry. The aforementioned Copper Star stands in for the state's largest natural resource, copper. During its heyday, Arizona's copper production rivaled the state's population. The aforementioned star was the brainchild of Arizona Governor Frank Kern. It has been a boost to the state's economy. It has long been a mining and mining-related magnet. Arizona's copper mining industry has long been the state's largest employer. Arizona was the last of the 48 states to be admitted to the Union. A dam was also added to the state's namesake, the Colorado River, which is the state's largest waterway. The Navajo live in Arizona. Navajo live in Arizona and are one of the oldest American Indian tribes. Their language is a member of the Apache language family. They are also known for their silver and turquoise ornaments. The Navajo are a matriarchal society. They have a strong sense of family obligations. Their children help around the house and like to hunt with their fathers. They also play games at school and enjoy archery. The Navajos originally lived in New Mexico, Colorado, and Northern Arizona. They traded with other tribes in the Southwest. However, the Spanish and other foreigners often attacked them. The Navajos fought against the Apache, Mexicans, Utes, and other neighboring tribes. The Navajos' homeland was surrounded by the four sacred mountains. These mountains include Mount Blanca, Mount Taylor, San Francisco Peak, and Hesperus Mountain. The four sacred mountains are an important part of the Navajo culture. They are a symbol of the four directions. They also live in a warm desert climate. Most of the reservation is classified as dry desert, with about 8% classified as humid. The rest is classified as steppe. The Navajo Nation is comprised of 27,000 square miles of land, stretching from New Mexico to Utah. It is home to several national monuments and tribal parks. It is also the location of Lake Powell, which has 186 miles of shoreline. Please like, share and subscribe as it helps us produce more videos for you to enjoy. Thank you for watching.